Hello everyone, hope you're doing great and enjoying the event and welcome! Today I'm going to talk to you about how to release your first video game without the pressure of how can I do it if I'm not in the field or I know little about it or I don't work or I haven't worked at a AAA company and stuff like that. But before we start, you might be wondering, well, who is she? So I'm Alexandra, I'm a Palestinian from Chile. I'm a musician and sound designer for Micro Moon Bugs, which is an indie game developers company, a self-managed company, and a software developer for iHungry. So let's start. You know, the beauty about creating video games is that you can adapt any career to it if you really want it and are passionate about it. To give you an example, I have many friends and colleagues who are sociologists and psychologists and they work in video game companies, in big video game companies. And also some of them have like an indie game developers company of their own, a self-managed one, where they work with some colleagues and create video games on their own. Um, so that's what I mean with you can adapt any career to it. Okay, it doesn't matter what you studied or where you studied or what's your field, you can adapt it to video games. You can still create video games. Don't get blocked by your field. Um, to give you a more specific example and maybe a more known one, it's the example of Eric Baron. He's a, he's a, he studied computer science and he never even imagined making games for a living and look at him now i mean he's the creator of stardew valley i know many of you know it um and he made it all by himself i, I mean he made the music the art the programming the the design everything so even if you're alone in this you can start you can create your video game it's okay so if you want maybe a first approach into developing games, I would highly recommend game jams. Get in as many game jams as you can. <laughs> they are happening every day, every week, every month, every year, all over the world. You can join them. And the big plus is that you will have somebody to help you along the way. Uh, and you can maybe meet your next team in a game jam, you know? You, you will make teams, you will experience what it is like to develop a video game. So it is a great start and a great first approach. To give you an example and to tell you a little story, I first joined the first women game jam in Chile and there I met two of my current teammates we got along very well and enjoyed making video games so we started making video games of our own and then we realized we needed more people so two artists came in and uh, another game designer and now we're a group of six passionate people about video games that make games on our own so just like that you can meet your next team. And just like that, you can make video games and you can start by yourself. <clears throat> but the one, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that when you're starting, when you're beginning, at the beginning of this journey, you start small, okay? The most important thing is to start small. Okay, don't think about the big MMORPG game you want to develop or stuff like that. You start small, I insist, because at this stage, you're brainstorming ideas, you're experimenting with them, you're thinking about the basics, okay, like the theme, the main character, what platform you want your game to be for, like for PC, for mobile, for console, you're defining all that, okay? And this is your, your first, first approach. Don't be too ambitious. Don't, don't think too much. And, and just start small step by step. And one thing to keep in mind is that at this stage, you're doing what you want to do, okay? 
you don't have to convince any publisher or anybody that your game is worth it. Okay, you're just thinking about what you want to do, what you want to your game to look like. Okay, it's your first game. Think outside the box, experiment, experience ideas. Don't be too hard on yourself or too ambitious. You could even mix and match ideas from your favorite games or take ideas from another indie game developers, you know, because to mix and match, it's okay. Just don't copy the whole idea and you're fine. <laughs> um, well, okay, so you start, you start develop, you, you say, okay, I want to develop games. This is for me. I want to do it. I like this. I've experienced what it is like in game jams and I've started this journey. So the big question is, how do I start? Okay, so depending on what kind of game you want, there are many tools for beginners or for people with less experience. You know, like you can start programming with construct or making art with samples or GIMP or Sketchbook or Blender. Also, the music and sound design, you can make it out of samples you find on the internet, which is filled with samples, and mixing and matching them in tools, I mean, in softwares like Reaper, Audacity, Bosca Seal, Fami Studio. And also there are more complete softwares and tools like Game Maker Studio, RPG Maker, Game Boy Studio, Godot also, which is a tool more for programming, but, but it's easy and easy to use. And there are much more tools depending on what kind of game you want to develop. Okay, so if, if you want to develop a more like retro one, you will use some tools that you may not use for for example, if you want to do a more 3D one or a more lifelike game. So there are more tools, more advanced tools and more advanced engines like Unity and Unreal Engine. I mean, if you know how to use them, it's cool. Use them. Great. But if you're just starting and you don't know that much, then start with this one, start small and later you can, you can study them. You know, you can study uh, programming with Unity or Unreal Engine, but don't push too hard at this stage. You want to experience what it is like and to develop games and to know what it's like to develop. So start with these tools. They are easy to use and they'll make your journey much more smooth. So, Let's say you started developing games, okay? So you, you made the first prototype, you defined a character, you defined what, uh, which platform you want your game to be for, and, and you defined a theme, very important to define the theme of your game first. And maybe you will have all in paper and you want to uh, have it like a demo first so you start working in your demo and you start like making it with construct for example and you have your first demo if you have your first demo if you build that small prototype as small as it is it doesn't matter it's a visual thing okay so it, it's cool you have to get people to test it okay if you're really shy at the beginning then Get your friends and family to test it. It's okay. You just want the feedback. You, you just want to know if it's as good as you want it to be. Okay? So these people will, will be the best QA at this stage. So let's say you have the first stage of your game, like this prototype maybe. You have the first stage of your game and you want more people to give you their opinion, maybe a more specific one or from people who know about games, then I would highly recommend that you first upload it to Itch.io. 
okay this page they have even game jam games there you have if if you've entered i i know many of you might and might have entered game jams and you know that this is where you upload your video game to so you have to imagine that each has a lot of video games some of them are, are more finished some more of them are just more game jam like so don't be scared upload it there you will have great feedback from people all over the world and that know more about the industry about games so let's say uh let's say you have a more finished prototype okay then you can upload it maybe to pokey okay this works if you have a game more for desktop or for a tablet if it's for mobile you can still upload it with them they have certain rules but they will help you along the way if you have your game for mobile you can still adapt it you'll have to do an extra work there but but it's they will help you it's not that hard and if you maybe made a mini game out of your <laughs> prototype you can still upload it to the play store or the app store the thing is that you get familiar with the process so just like that you will have your first video game released even if it's a small game a prototype it doesn't matter you did it you got along with it and you got familiar of for what it's like to upload a game. You know, many cool games like Celeste, for example, came out of Game Jams and they started like this. And now there's, they are a big game, you know, a big gig company and it's a, a known video game. And they started from a Game Jam, a small game. So that's, that's what I want to get at. Okay, even if it's a prototype, even if it's just one level, it doesn't matter. Upload it and keep working in it. So if you are after all this, you're certain you want to do this. Okay, some of some tips I can give you is that, for example, once you're clear and convinced that this is your path and you say like, oh, but I don't have any money, that's okay because you can find support okay you can apply for a fund for example or find a publisher i know this is this isn't an easy task but it's worth it okay um if, if you don't have the the whole game at this stage at least a working demo is fine to show that you're serious about it and giving something concrete to look at makes it it's easier to judge um, and keep in mind, keep really in mind that as a starter or as a beginner in this industry, you will have to do many more tasks other than what you're proficient at or your main field. For example, you will have to uh, fill out paperwork you've never filled out before or you don't know how to fill it. It, it's okay, it's normal, this happens because you're doing much more than, than what your field is, what your specialty is, because it's a small team, you have to do men, you have to do everything from many fields. This is normal, so please don't get frustrated by this and imagine that this will be a big plus on your resume and you know, you learn so much with this, so, so much. Uh, and keep in mind also that this industry isn't easy, it's very competitive and it has its ups and downs. So if it doesn't work for you, for example, at first, just keep trying, you'll ev eventually find your way in the industry. So, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and that it helped you. It, give, it, give, it gave you maybe a little bit of hope. <laughs> so that's it. Keep making video games and have fun. Bye bye.